five tips to lower your blood pressure after a cheat meal. Because you've been eating good 80, 85, 90, 95% of the time. But now you done went out with family, you went out to Sunday brunch. You had something that you know you were not supposed to eat. And it's not the end of the world. Let me show you what to do. Because YOLO, don't just throw it all away. Let's go. So one of the things I like to do is I like to start with one of my favorite drinks that comes into play right around this time. It's my beetroot juice. Here I'm gonna take some beetroot powder I have on hand and I, to this mix, also add a little bit of magnesium. We talked about how that's really good for blood pressure. And I'll add a little bit of lemon and apple cider vinegar. And I mix this up with my little froth there and I just drink away, baby. It's really good for mitigating some of that blood pressure spike. So if you watch some of my videos, you'll see how and why this works. You go back for that. But for now, just know that this is a number one go-to after a cheat meal. Next! Eat a banana. Bananas are rich in potassium and that's great for the heart and even better for blood pressure. If you go out and you have a cheat meal and you know <laughs> that that blood pressure going all the way up, consider eating a banana. Next, eat some berries. I'm talking about strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, even grapes. You might wanna be careful with the grapes if you got high blood sugars. Now these berries are rich in vitamin C, antioxidants, but most importantly, anthocyanins. Anthocyanins help to increase that NO2 production that lowers your blood pressure. So berries are a fabulous idea after a cheat meal. Next. Now, number four is one that a lot of people don't think about, but it's very necessary, and it probably could have been number one. Drink water. Drink water, baby. A lot of times, for some reason, when we go out and have these cheat meals, we stop drinking water. Maybe it's because we feel full or we feel like we've already done a lot. But quite frankly, if you want to help your body to flush out some of those toxins, dilute some of that sodium, water may be the way to go. Now, if you have a heart condition or any condition where you're already holding on to a bunch of water, this may not be for you. This may not be for you. But barring anything like that, water, you need a lot of it so that you can dilute out and flush out whatever you just had. Now, don't drink it all in one setting. But do consider picking it up just a little bit, just a little bit, because dehydration on top of whatever you just ate only makes things worse. Number five is tea, particularly dandelion root tea. Now, some of y'all know I love this stuff, and it has a really good diuretic effect. So when you're drinking all your water and flushing out your toxins, this is a perfect time to bring this on board. And if you're doing a loose leaf tea, you can make a blend, add some other things to it, bladder rack, burdock root, you know, that whole thing. But most importantly, that dandelion tea is going to help you pee off some of that extra water that's going to cause the high blood pressure. So y'all, that's five. But I'm going to give y'all this take home point. And that is just because you have an off day doesn't mean you give up. Why are you thinking about all of what you ate wrong and getting scared about what your numbers are gonna be tomorrow in the doctor's office? Take all of that off your mind and start planning your next meal. Plan your next day. Plan your next habit. Drink more water. And come up with a game plan so that when you're in this situation later, you're prepared.